everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And I want to share one of my new fashion books with you. As you know, I'm a fan of Mingju Sons. And she has her work published through Creative Haven Books. And this is one of her new ones this year. Fabulous Fashions of the 1980s. This was on pre-order and I just received it. Let me show you here. Yep, 2021. This is her newest book. And I think she has more coming out this year. I'm not exactly sure yet. I've got quite a few on pre-order. Okay, let's take a look at this. As you know, Creative Haven has great paper. And the pictures are perforated. And uh, they're single-sided so that you can use just about any medium on here. Okay, uh, also... These three girls appear in three different pictures in this book. And that's sort of an example of what they look like colored in. And this here on the back is a picture in the book. And there's 31 retro illustrations here. In the front of the book, we always have one that's colored in for us to see how they did it. And in the back of the book. So this is to help you get started with colors. Okay. Let's take a look at this, and I'm anxious to color in it. <clears throat> this is really the 1980s fashions, and if you're not sure what color to make things, go to Google and type in 1980 fashions images and see what comes up. Or just color them the way you would like to color them, whatever color you choose. And that's probably what I'm going to do. But if you need ideas, that's always good to look on the Internet because you will find them. I just love her work. I've enjoyed coloring fashion before. I've colored quite a few. And I'm going to color these. I need to sort my coloring books out and put all the same artist books together. I have some bookcases that I need to work on, and I haven't had time, but I would love to put them all together and see what books I actually, all the books I have from her and other artists. They are just, uh, her, her fashions are enjoyable and realistic to color. And she always gives you a little floral background or something. You don't have to do a background on these if you don't want, but I do have a video where I show you that I have put backgrounds on them. But you don't have to. And I'm old enough to have lived through the 1980s, so I can really identify with these fashions and think, yeah, I had a dress like that or a skirt. <laughs> it's an evening dress. Now with my new King Art gel crayons, I'm going to use that a lot for their skin and their face, their skin tones. <clears throat> it comes out real smooth when you spread it with a foundation or makeup brush. And it's erasable, which I really like. This is so cute with the three here. Okay, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. I will list it below if you're interested in this book. I purchased it at Amazon, and I will leave a link below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me a message. And until we meet again, happy coloring.